Hello and hi, welcome to Yedidashovet.net and welcome to Jewish Wisdom Week number 41. Today's question which was addressed to the Vilna Gaon is, Rabbi, how does a person, a clever person, react to insults? Because we understand, all of us, we get insulted from time to time. The way that people talk, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be people that we never thought that we hurt, but somehow we actually did hurt them uh, years ago and now they're trying to get some revenge. Or that someone has a grudge. Or someone is jealous. And they insult you. They have, they have nothing good to say, so they just say, they insult you. What is the best way to react in order to show that you are the best person who you are? So the Naga On says something unbelievable. He says a person should make it as if he's deaf. As if he's deaf. What difference does it make if it shows if he's deaf? You know what the difference is? It shows that, look, he talks to you, all your words mean nothing to me. All your words mean nothing. You don't, on impulse, uh, answer back anything. No, no heated argument, no snap back answer, nothing. You just go deaf. I know it's very hard, especially the words can, uh, it can hurt. But when you go deaf, and you don't even repeat the insults that he says, what does that show? That shows that you have a much higher self-confidence. It shows that you have a much uh, positive manner in uh, reacting to his insults. Now what does that do? Well, first understand what type of person gives insults. It's a person who has an addiction. By giving insults, it makes him happy through other people's sadnesses. And when he has this addiction of trying to give insults and giving insults, he's waiting for people to react. The more they react, the better it is for him. They fall right into his trap. Now when you don't react and you, and you make it as if you're deaf, you make it as if that uh -huh, nothing was said, nothing was even, uh, even heard by the person, what does that do? It makes him feel, feel powerless. And you won. And when you're in that level that you made him feel powerless, that will ultimately make him stop because he sees what he's doing is just wasting time. He sees that ultimately it has no effect and that his goal is, uh, is fake. It's not going to happen. And that shows what type of self-confidence do you have the self-esteem that you have. And that is the highest level of being able to react. By not acting on impulse, but acting on restraint, on, re on, a, on a reservation of how you feel. And ultimately, when that person gives an, an insult, and if you really want to understand why was that insult given, and you think that there may be something there, some validity, then consult with someone. Don't bring in the words of how he insulted you, or how, uh, what you did to him. That's, that's really not constructive. If anything, it's destructive. It could be a humiliation towards you, it could be a humiliation towards the other person, it could be Lashon Hara, it could be slander, it could go to many extents. So you want to make sure that each and every person that uh, you deal with, no matter if he's going to insult you, no matter if he's, going to, uh, if he's going to praise you, you want to make sure that you keep your reaction based on reservation. And if it's going to be an insult, turn. Go deaf. You are the bigger person. And ultimately, may people only speak kindness to one another. And I wanted to thank you for listening to this video. And I'll see you tomorrow for Parsha of the Week, Parshat Korach.